Ginger, that's what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasickness. Oh, thank you for your support, John. Don't suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. Terrific. Don't worry, Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So much for docking by tea time. The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. Oh, he sure looked grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Ugh. I'm starting to question whether the week's long journey was worth it. Travelling all this way, enduring this indignity simply to visit a grave. Even if it is my mother's. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense, still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I believe it was that this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. And if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Ah, oh, at last. I'm quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on. We'll go together. Hey, Sherry, come on, catch up. Yes, yes. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Sherlock, don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. We just need your signature. Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? There you are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Uh, would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no. I, I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Mm -hmm.
I apologise, sir, but your room is not yet ready. Perhaps in the meantime you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. Perhaps in the meantime you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Hey Sherry, just our luck. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Perhaps, in the meantime, you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight, the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Pardon, monsieur. But I am not in the mood to talk. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Your room is upstairs, sir. Number 221. Hey, Sherry. Just our luck. A medium, John. Haven't we been through this already? Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Excuse me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galich is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me. Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir, it's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. All things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. 
Ha! Huh. That seems rather close-minded. Truth, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. So tell me, what do you see? Mediocrity. Come now, Sherry. What did he do to deserve that? The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's back. Okay, time Our to check if John found us a nice table sauce. this evening. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Sherry, I'm over here with my new ursine companion. What are you waiting for? Put the dish down so we can talk. Cordona's even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? What were you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am... Itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Ah, uh, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. Well then, you can deliver it to him as well. Deliver it to him? <laughs> then what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Stubborn, Sherry. Too stubborn. You wanted something to do. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. But all right. Let me take a look. No matter how long you stare at the stick, it's not going to walk itself to its owner. Don't ask me about the cane. I was with you the whole time. Don't ask me about the cane. I was with you the whole time. Pardon, monsieur. But I am not in the mood to talk.
Would you like a drink, sir? Would you like a drink, sir? Don't ask me about the cane. I was with you the whole time. Would you like a drink, sir? Would you like a drink, sir? The cane is made of ebony. It's worn uncared for and bears the scars of numerous hits. A crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow, perhaps the Fielding family or meadows, or Craven from the old English name meaning garlic place. The hand grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue, probably stolen from a temple. The dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. Don't ask me about the cane. I was with you the whole time. All right, I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane itself. Don't is ask not me enough. about the cane. I was they with you the whole time. The guests if they saw who was here. Would you like a drink? Can you satisfy my curiosity? That's a question I can answer. Well, even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the cane's owner on your first try. <laughs> and would you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why not? Let's see how good you really are. May I ask you something? I can't help you with that, sir. Help me, please. I cannot be of help, sir. Someone else might know better. 
<laughs> Is this familiar to you? I'd tell you if I knew, but unfortunately, I don't. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are, are you able to help me? About what I'm and so dressed sorry. as what? I can't help you, sir. Excuse me, just one question. I cannot be of help, sir. Someone else might know better. <laughs> Are you able to help me? I'm so sorry. I can't help you, sir. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you? Are? Skin about what and dressed as what. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. I didn't see the owner, Sherry, so I can't help you find him. Could you help me? I can't help you with that, sir. Not that one, huh? May I you ask you something? Sherry? Don't let that stop Excuse your search for Navy officer. I'm not sure I know. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? May I ask for your assistance? I can't help you with that, sir. Are you able to help me? Sorry. But I never heard of this. Everyone's looking at us, Sherry. You sure you know what you're doing? Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. Could you help me? I can't help you, friend. This isn't working. Can I ask you a question? You might need I a different tank. You, Are you able to help me? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. Hey, Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to visit the seance? I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. Someone left their cane at my table. I suspect he will want it back. My apologies, sir, but I wouldn't know how to identify its owner. Hmm. 
so the simplest option ended in failure. That's irritating. No, what is irritating is you trying to break the rules of my game, Sherry. Don't be so lazy. Don't ask me about the cane. I was with you the whole time. Could you help me? Don't be angry, sir, but I truly don't know. May I ask you something? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Excuse me, just one question. Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Help me, please. Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with that, sir. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Are you able to help me? I have nothing to hide, sir, but I've never heard of this. May I ask for your assistance? Oh, sir, I'm afraid I don't know about that. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. <sighs> Are you able to help me? I can't help you with that, sir. <laughs> Are you able to help me? I can't help you with that, sir. Everyone's looking at us, Sherry. You sure you know what you're doing? Would you like a drink, sir? Do you know anything about this? I would never deny you, sir, but I know nothing about this. Help me, please. I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Can you satisfy my curiosity? I can't help you with that, sir. Excuse me, just one question. Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. 
Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Could you help me? I can't help you with that, sir. May I ask for your assistance? I have nothing to hide, sir, but I've never heard of this. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Could you help me? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's beyond my knowledge. May I ask for your assistance? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Help me, please. I can't help you with that, sir. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Are you able to help me? I usually have an answer for everything, but not for this. Are you able to help me? I can't help you, friend. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? <sighs> May I ask you something? Sorry, but I never heard of this. Taking man. Mm. Those are the sharp eyes of a man with a bright mind. Almost like mine. Can I ask you a question? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of that. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with that, sir. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Your room is upstairs, sir. Number 221. May I ask for your assistance? Sorry, but I've never heard of it. Hmm. Is this familiar to you? Sorry, but I never heard of this. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Can I ask you a question? Please, don't get angry, sir. 
But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. Excuse me, just one question. I'm so sorry. I can't help you, sir. Would you like a drink, sir? Come on, if you hurry, perhaps we'll see the ghost. Come on, if you hurry, perhaps we'll see the ghost. Come on, if you hurry, perhaps we'll see the ghost. This hotel, this island, it's full of thieves. First my cane, now the diamond. Take your hands off me! Do you even know who I am? Hmm? Hey, boy! That's my cane! I get that a lot. It's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made! A joke. A joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... <sighs> It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything I needed to know. I was after a strong middle-aged man with a keen interest in adventure, noble blood, and affection for strong drink. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Marvellous. Simply marvellous. That's me, Lord Andrew Craven. You are the real medium. You hear that, Emma? Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond, too. Yes, you should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr... Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. The police? Why bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this.
you insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah! It was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands, as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Ah, yes. Common in the spiritualist trade, and quite the spectacle. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the diamond was gone. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an Indian king. So you were summoning long-dead Indian royalty, and, pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret, I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing, she's barely conscious, the feebleness of women. Really, Sherry? Poor thing. What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken, this maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But this stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Perhaps you can reason with him? Please? Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Was this covered on purpose? Of course. It is very dangerous to leave a mirror exposed during a seance. The spirits may become enraged. Or someone may notice the trick they should not see. Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. How can you not love this stuff, Sherry? It adds so much atmosphere to the room. Oh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm? The ghost was here, Sherry! Half a glass of Balblair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass.
I wonder what this mirror could have witnessed. Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. Half a glass of Balblair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. Half a glass of Balblair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough.